Okay. So I honestly don't know where to start because and dami nang yari na naman. But what I can do say is, tapos na sim, guys. Tapos na sim. What? Like, tapos na. As in, tapos na talaga siya. As in, I'm not third year anymore. Let that sink in. It's still not sinking in. Oh my god. I'm free. We're free. Joke, may internship pa. So we're free for a while, but we're technically like kind of free. So here we are. After a month na hindi ako nakakapag vlog, I am finally back. But it doesn't mean that I wasn't on camera for most of the parts uh, that we had this uh, semester. We had a lot of video projects and of course we needed talents for that. And quite evidently, we became our own talents. So yeah, hold on, my battery's blinking. Let me change the batter. A little later. And we're back. I I've been doing a lot of things over the past weeks. Um we had a short film festival, sorta of like a festival. So you can check that out on Com22 Facebook page. So our short film festival was Venture. And we premiered um last June 3. So that is in Alaga. But uh, we actually had some diffic technical difficulties because the uh, day after the premiere, it suddenly disappeared. The Alaga post mismo. So we were all shocked. But um, it's already there again. Uh, Nakiusap na ang aming director para ibalik yon doon sa page and. Ayun. Basically, you can watch it again if you've already watched it, or you can watch it for the very first time at Com22. So, you can also watch the other films. We've also watched them, and hindi pa nga namin natatapos eh. Meron pang tatlon na hindi namin napapanood from the film fest. But yeah, if you wanna go watch, go watch. Basta yung sa amin, it's Inalaga. It's directed by Nala Pilar. Yes! And it's screenplay was by me no it, the screenplay was by all of us actually so I cannot take all of the credit for it but as a poster ako yung halagay. so that's just one of the things that we did this semester and I actually I wasn't actually sure what vlog to post um, next kasi and daming nangyari so this is gonna be like a life wrap up vlog because <laughs> I've been I've been video I've been taking videos of the whole month but it's mostly vertical and it's mostly you know just snippets of my life all throughout um, this May but now it's June and yay by my clock it is yes I have a new clock guys it is June 6. Yeah. And I love this clock because you can set an alarm like this. You can change the month and day manually. And it's cute. It's so, it's so cute, guys. I'm sorry. Um I'm obsessed over home stuff like This is the first time that we'll ever have like a home clock and a manual alarm clock na hindi phone so I'm excited for that I have been excited for that because it's been six days with me using it and I've already used the alarm twice and I'm happy so this is gonna be a monthly wrap-up of my life it's not gonna be a book wrap-up it's not gonna be a movie wrap-up it's literally gonna be a life wrap-up I honestly don't know where to begin, but I already began with the short film, right? So, uh, let's proceed to the books I've read. 
and I got the idea for that because I saw my currently reading which is si Amapola sa Anim na Putlima na Kabanata which is uh, written by Sir Rick Lee. And I just finished his Kulang Nasilia and also um, his Bahay ni Marta and it was chef's kiss. I encourage you guys to read more local local books local Filipino books because you know there are gems there out there i also started tikim which uh, i mentioned on my last vlog but uh hindi ko pa siya tinutuloy kasi it's a series of essays as you guys remember it's a series of essays about food and every time i seem to read it nagugutom ako <laughs> and nagpa flashback lahat ng mga foods na binabanggit so i'm not ready to read that in one full Bounce, Ganarn. So, why did I use bounce? It's not even a real word to use in that proper sentence, but well. Another book that I finished was um, A New Model by Ashley Graham. And yeah, that was a journey. It's It felt like um, I was reading her TED Talk or a series of her TED Talks because I can hear her voice while reading it. So, I mean, it's not good for like um, high literari literary prizes, but it's good. It's a good read, and it's an easy read. So if you guys have insecurities about your body, or if you feel like you know you don't fit in the mold or whatever, that that book literally lifted me up and made me proud of. The body that I have right now because it's functioning well, it's doing me good, and it's, it's my body. What else have I been doing? Oh, uh, remember, guys, the journal that I've been filling up for quite some time. Um, some of you have already seen. I've been posting about this journal of mine on TikTok for quite some time right now. I've been religiously filling it up with my small victories it's uh it's been the yun yung mostly nalaman nito for a while <laughs> pero i thought i also have this name junie's friend but you can you can see it on my tiktok updates but yeah i'm actually happy with how it looks right now and I'm actually proud of myself because, you know, parang sometimes na disregard mo yung sarili mong effort because hindi mo alam kung gano kadami na pala yung nagagawa mo. But writing it down, like the small victories, you can you actually realize na mas marami pa yun na tututunan at nagagawa mo sa isang buong araw or sa isang buong linggo without you actually realizing it. And I also put here, kapag kahonwari, nagsiselfcare ako sa sarili ko or I'm taking my time off of toxic stuff. So, uh, it actually made me reflect a lot of what I do with my life and what I do during the mornings, the evenings, and everything in between. But although the everything in between is me constantly panicking how am I going to finish everything else, <laughs> the main priority I have been focusing on is myself speaking of myself uh, I got vaccinated already guys um, I uh, two doses two sorry also I got two doses already for my vaccination pero ni pa rin ako lumalabas as much at all actually and I think it's gonna be my or I just finished my second week um, na after nung last vaccination ko because uh, I remember um, they told us nahihina pa yung katawan mo muna for two weeks before lumakas ulit kasi nga it's sinusanay niya yung sarili niya dun sa vaccination na binigay but yeah um, it had mm, a f mm, wala siyang masyadong ano sa akin effect <laughs> um, it Although, ano, no first time, ano siya, sobrang sleepy ko and gutom na gutom ako pag uwi ko. No second, and masakit yun dito ko, sobrang hindi ko siya maramdaman as in, hindi ko siya maangat. And yung, ano, second time naman, hindi na siya ganun kasakit. So, magaan yung kamay ni ati girl. Then, uh, 
ayun, inantok, nagutom ulit. Tapos, yun. Actually, na first time pa nga na binaksinita ako, nagpuyat pa ako that night. That night. That night. Nung pagka-vaccinate. Kasi kinailangan ko. Pero I was really, really, really sleepy. But, yeah, the sacrifices we make for academics. Anyway, I've been having Zoom meetings with my friends from my block, so we're we're refreshing ourselves from the toxicity of it all, from academics, from the stress, and yeah, we're, we have a really nice small circle, and I'm happy for that. Meanwhile, I'm kind of still not set on one internship. I have a company, but they haven't been responding to me for a while. <laughs> and I, I feel like it's because I haven't been responding to them in a while as well. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, we managed to finish three campaigns. So it's PR campaign, DevCom campaign, um, advert campaign, and yeah, the short film that I mentioned earlier. And what else did we submit? Oh, aha! The risk, the social actor, the church as a social actor in this pandemic video. So I have been editing a lot, but just not for this channel. I am so sorry. Yeah, aha! I also have this, um, you know, this gift from my parents because I have been working so hard and alam kong at one point or the other they have been annoyed with me na pinupuyat ko sila dahil gising pa din ako um, sisikat na yung araw pero <laughs> gising pa rin ako, hindi pa rin ako natutulog and they got me this! <laughs> if, if you guys are not aware and I'm assuming you guys are not kasi I don't really talk about do this as much here in the channel but i'm talking about it right now i love drawing but i'm not like pursuing it as you know a career but i love drawing like in my spare time like if i doodle randomly and i'm like oh that looks so good so uh i have been convincing myself for a while na hindi ko hindi ko kailangan ng prisma but I've tried it last night and it's it's like when um, I first used my laptop, my new one. But I never thought I needed it until it was right in front of me. And until I was actually using it now. So yeah. I am going to make be making a lot of artworks, hopefully. Um, and I might be posting it on my art dump account. So if you guys want to see that, it's at echo.art. What else did I do for the rest of May? Uh, oh, they released Butter. And why is my voice like that? They released Butter. And I have been listening to it and film out. And oh, the BTS pop up. Hindi pa ako pumupunta. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's already open sa SM Mega Mall. And I took a picture. I took a picture at SM San Lazaro. Kasi BTS, like your smart collaboration nila. They have it dun sa may ano, sa may display, window display. So that was fun. I've also had a series of experiences with coffee for this month of May. Na sobrang tapang ng kape, as in sobrang tapang ng kape, hindi ako pinapatulog talaga. As in legit. It took me like 3 a.m. na ako natulog. Like pinipilit ko na sarili ko 3 a.m. na matulog. Ganun katapang yung kape. And if you guys want to try that coffee, that type of coffee, you can go to at underscore kape muna. And that's actually handled by my two cousins. And they are just like one of the most amazing people in this world. And I encourage you to buy from them. Kasi ang sarap din nung tor quesadillas nila. And yung sandwich. Sandwich ba yun na burger? But yes, I've been... 
<laughs> I can't remember everything I ate, but I remember the quesadilla and it was really good. And the coffee is really, really strong. Kung at kung gusto niyo delat na delat kayo from morning to evening, yun yung bilin niyo yung kape. So that's at underscore kape muna. I tried um, going back again to learning Korean, pero I don't think I'm good yet at all. So it's usually annyeong. Hey, Kuya. Pangalo. <laughs> you guys already get the gist of everything I've done so far. And I've been talking too much now. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we made it. Tapos na tayo sa third year. Patapos na tayo next academic year. So... This is my cue now to say, don't forget to dream, inspire, and achieve. <laughs>